Do, do you have multiple Twitters? No, I only have at Plan BZ. Oh, oh are we going in? I, oh, I no, think we missed it. Yeah, but completely. Is this mid set? No, it looks like. I honestly, I still I mean, can't no, tell. No, there's actually nothing going on here. I don't think. Okay. If there is, the player cams are completely screwed up. Okay, but we, hey, well, we know what matchup it's gonna be. You want to talk about this? We got some some hot marathon cheek action going on right now. Uh, Viva tag, which I speak Spanish. That means uh, live. Yeah, it does Spanish. indeed mean live. <laughs> <laughs> does it? <laughs> yeah, no, it does. It does. It does. It means, uh, you know, just, just just live. He he. It lives. It's yeah. So it makes me wonder if that's this person's tag. It's funny because I know there's someone in this tournament with a tag dead, and it would be kind of funny if that was this person. You know, like if dead's tag was life. Oh, just in like Spanish. life. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, I am a I'm a Geely Puff main. Judge me all you want. Uh, but my limited knowledge of this matchup uh, i think at this level which i imagine is a bit more in the mid level i think she solidly wins the marcy matchup and i know i don't want to talk matchups too much uh i just i also want to talk about what you think each player is going to have to do to win okay so you know like as you said right you don't want to talk about matchups too much because like matchups are completely relative like yeah i mean it's all them, right? it's right. subjective but you know there are there are certain aspects of matchups that are completely objective right that are like all right so in this matchup sheik's punish game is very flow charted, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get your grab, you get your forward kill. Your and this is kind of chic as a character with her punishes. It's never like not obvious what your next follow up should be for the most part. Until you get to like fluff level. Exactly, right? Where you have to like really mix people up. Um, meanwhile, for Marth, you know, he's usually aiming to, to get that grab, uh, up throw you, and then try to see whether or not you're going to immediately double jump and then kind of get a juggle off that way. Or he can go the, uh, the Calvar way and just kind of tech chase <laughs> you to death, right? So. Shoutouts to Calvar, uh, the rising star of New England. If you haven't heard of him, uh, he beat Nintendo to Genesis. He did. Uh, and ran very it very close. Uh, speaking of so Dialga. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not Dialga Queen, so I I have no judgment. Okay, you know what? Maybe I judge Pokemon tags a little bit, but it's not as bad as G2 King still. And Rock. Uh, interesting. So two players uh, I'm not familiar with. Yeah, but you know, so far it looks like I guess Rock is getting quite the edge on uh, on Dialga. Yeah. Dialga. I honestly don't even know the correct way to pronounce that Pokemon's name, but... Yeah, I mean, either. Let's just say, you want to standardize it, what are we going to say? We're going to say Dialga. Dialga. Okay, so something I've noticed Rock do a lot is neutral air off the ledge, uh, which is super unsafe. And if Dialga picked up on that, all he has to do is wave dash back and then run in with a grab or something. Uh, but I, it doesn't seem like he's really been taking note. Oh, I love the down smash idea. Yeah, it's definitely... One of the better things you can do because it uh it covers attack options and if you yep. space it correctly you get that tipper down smash which is equally as strong as about the forward smash with knock back growth so you know it definitely helps in that option but a lot of people would rather send sheik off to the side rather than up but if you know it's that kill percent may as well go for it might as well rock looking good but uh, you know what? i like the underdog so i'm gonna be pulling for my boy dialga in this next uh, you know just just to see in a third game I'm, I'm with it as well i mean he he likes Pokemon. I like Pokemon. You know, I gotta give him a little <laughs> bit, of, a little bit of love. I do. I like Pokemon. I also, I like rocks. I mean, I used to collect oh God, like, rocks dude. when I was a kid. <laughs> hey, look, if we're gonna, if we're gonna judge people whether, uh, whether, on whether we like their tag or not, based on its content, I got a shout out to Rock. Now but you're gonna start hitting me with like elements of the periodic <laughs> table and telling me that like Shist is your favorite rock and like <laughs> you're gonna, that Shist. Knuckles is your favorite character. Jesus. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> interesting to uh, counterpick Marth to oh, to counterpick Marth to FOD. Uh, I personally don't really like the stage against Marth because the side, the blast zones on the side are actually closer than any other stage besides uh, Yoshi's and Pokemon. Uh, so those tips are especially effective on this stage. Yeah, but I guess like you don't really have too many options as Sheik in a best of three because you know he's going to ban Dreamland Right, of course. So, you know, you don't really want to take Marth to Yoshi's. Or FD, actually. FD is definitely a Marth favorite stage in this matchup. I, I, I think I, I have a, a differing view on it. It can be really good for Sheik depending on, on the type of Sheik player there are. There's like campy Sheiks who really like to abuse needles and on a stage like that you force Marth to either double jump or shield at a certain time you can really catch him off guard. Yeah. But you know uh, it really depends. I again like nothing in matchups right. is Right. It, it depends on the player right. So it, it's so much about the player. When I say statements like it's a Marth favorite stage it's very general. <laughs> I don't pretend to be an expert. You know Dialga's doing a little better this time. I think besides that very unfortunate SD about 20 seconds in. Um, like, if he had an SD, it'd still be pretty close right now. Oh, um, Tom completely whiffed that forward air. 
onto Brock Shield, and that's going to be what cost him his rock. Had he been able to land it, he would have been able you know, a dash back Ooh. or a jab. But hey, whatever. Rock's going to give a free one out. Shout out to Make Wish Foundation. Y'all do incredible work. I think, um, I think Dialga has picked up on the fact that Rock likes to go to ledge when he's uncomfortable. Rock seems to, like, between stocks and even when he's kind of, uh, seems to be losing in the neutral, Rock retreats to the ledge very often. Yeah, and it's kind of telling of the way the metagame has evolved in Melee as well, because going to the ledge now is, like, a lot safer than it used to be just because of the incorporation of invincible ledge dashes. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like you're confident enough in refreshing your invincibility. Ooh! See, there's that neutral air. Yeah. That is not safe at all. Neutral air, neutral air should be a very sparsely used ledge getup option for Marth, in my opinion. But oh, that could have been a down air too. It can definitely, like, uh, if, if you anticipate it coming, you can very easily crouch cancel it or SDI out of the first hit and they got to punish that way. Exactly. So it's like, you really want to be really careful if you're using there. And just like that, you know, Diao has been able to bring it back. You can tell he's having a really hard time on getting in on Marth's wall. So he's just throwing out moves saying, please run into me. But <laughs> Rock is com perfectly content with just sitting there and saying, if you can't get close to me. I'm not going to get any closer to you. There's no point. There's nothing yeah. in it for me. And it doesn't help that we're now on the part of the stage where it's FOD is kind of like FD right now. No platforms on the right side for Diaga to abuse. Ooh, nice. Cancel. Cancel. Yeah, you have to watch your percents. Who doesn't react to the tech in, I would rather tech away. I, I assume that was a wishful thinking read right there. I mean, I, I don't completely hate it because it did cover two or three options, right? So, you know, either, mm -hmm. I mean, technically four. If he didn't tech, he got that four smash. If he teched in place, he got that four smash. If he teched in, he got that four smash. So it's like, he actually, he, he rolled the dice in a pretty favorable scenario. You're right. Might as well throw it out every so often just to keep him on their toes. Okay, he's throwing out the sheet forward smash. He's getting creative. Diaga uh, taking a, a page out of a Drefin book. Drefin, another top 100 player who's pr uh, present. He's been down smashing a lot. There, as I say it. He's gonna roll up. Nice. Oh. Does its neutral getup. I'm so happy you did that. Cause yeah. He was able to get that punish otherwise. Really smart. And now Diaga, especially because he SD'd at the beginning of this game, he's looking way better. Do you think this is a case of Dialga getting the download a bit, or maybe Rock being a little nervous because he has him on set point? Um, it, I, I think overall, I have the feeling that Rock's been more or less executing better in the neutral game. But as I say, the Dialga's kind of kind of putting up a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. He, he's moving now. Ooh. My man Dialga. Oh, oh no. Dancing Blaze going to get him alive. Right. Nice crouch cancel. I'm, I'm cheering for Dialga here. I want to see this third game. Oh, now you need to hit your L cancels, bro. That was a free forward smash, and he knows it. Come on, Dialga. Let me see. I love game three situations with these guys, you know, sets like this. And right now, so for Dialga, that's all he needs. Get that grab, get the forward air. Forward air, grab the ledge, Dialga. Get that oh, back, hurry up. You are a smart man. Oh, no. He just all didn't he press the button. All he did was pull the trigger. And that's going to be it, yeah. Oh, yeah, hate to see that. Threw it away, essentially, which is super unfortunate. It's the kind of thing where like, he had it, right? And, and the cool thing was for him was that, uh, I like this term that I heard yesterday, uh, Rock gave him the co-op DI, <laughs> where he went for the down throw, he held down in a way, made it really easy for him to get that forward air, send them off stage. And then he even did the hard part in the edge guard, where he dropped down, got the jumping up back yeah. air, got him. All he did 